So this time we have this data. Okay, so this is the original data. We've plotted it. We think that the curve that would fit the data best would be off the form y equals kb to the x. Okay, and we need to calculate uh, as close as we can to k and b. Okay, so we want to know the, the actual equation of the curve. So first thing is we reduce this uh, to linear form by taking logarithms of both sides. So I'm going to take logarithm base 10 of both sides of that equation. And we've gone through this process in a previous video. So this we can break apart to log 10k plus log 10b to the x. The x can come down to the front. So I could write this as log 10y and in that form of log 10b x plus, if I've got room, log 10k. So this is now in a form of y equals mx plus c. So what I'm seeing is that x is still the variable, not log 10x, x, and y has become log 10y. Okay, so I need to work out log 10y. I know what x is already, so I don't need to uh, write that down again. So, log 10 of 17 is 1.23. Uh, log 10 49 is 1.69. I'm doing these to 3 sig fig. 110 is 2.04, 330 is 2.52, 810 is 2.91, and 2200 is 3.34. Okay, so Having done that, I can now plot that information. So when x is 1, log 10y is 1.23. So 1.2 and a bit. Uh, when x is 2, we get 1.69. So 1.69, something like that. Um, yeah, just a little bit off, a little bit off, maybe we'll right. If you were doing this, okay, you can do it perfectly. This is just about right. Um, 3, 2.04. Okay, so that's about there. Um, 4, 2.52. Uh, 2.2452, something like that. Um, 5, 2.91. So 2.8, 2.9, something like that. So that one's a little bit off, isn't it? It was a little bit high. Okay, and 6, 3.34. 3.2, 3 3.3, a little bit there. Okay, so what you can see is that the data is roughly in a straight line, which is good. So what I can then do is draw a line of best fit, going through this information, probably about there. Okay. So from that, what I want to do is work out uh, the y-intercept and the gradient. Now the y-intercept, c is the log 10k. So I've got that as about 0 0.8. Okay. So then, um, if log 10k is 0 0.8, then k is 10 to the 0 0.8. And then we can work out the gradient. Now, the gradient is the coefficient of the x, the log 10b. Okay, so really what we th want to think of is drawing this as a big triangle. Um, so, if we think about something like that, having this big right angle triangle. Uh, we've got the difference in the y, so that's going um, from 3.6 um, down to 0 0.8. And then for the x's, 
that's about six point six point seven take away well zero so we've got 3.6 take away 0 0.8 divided by 6.7 which is 28 over 67 so if log 10 b is 28 over 67 then b is 10 to the 28 over 67 okay so that's about 2.62 and the 10 to the 0 0.8 is 6.31 it's a 3 sig fig so what you could then do is you could say that the original curve because we've now found k and b the curve that would fit the original data would be y equals 10 to the 0 0.8 times uh, 10 to the 28 over 67 to the x okay and that's the equation I mean you could write it if you were going to write it to 3 sig fig as uh, 6.31 times 2.62 to the x okay um, but that is the graph that's the uh, function that would fit the original data best